Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions. And we have a project here of a yellow jacket nest, a rather large one that was in the attic space of a client in Wernersville, Pennsylvania, which is where our office is located in Berks County in southeastern Pennsylvania. So we can see the nest here spans the entire uh, joist bay for the ceiling below. Now they weren't getting any yellow jackets below, but where they were getting them from, see that light there in the attic? Um, the yellow jackets had access to this whole attic space. And on the other side of this attic space was a, was a room. And they kept noticing that there were yellow jackets gathering right at the window. And they thought, well, maybe that's weird. And then they noticed on the outside, a lot of yellow jackets coming and going. And when I went out there um, to inspect, as soon as we got into the attic, I said, oh, that's not insulation. That's all nesting material. And that's a big yellow jacket nest that spans in between the, uh, in between the rafters there. So I'm using my favorite yellow jacket chemical, which is PTPI from BASF company, um, which is a fast acting aerosol. Um, it permeates that nest and I'm just poking and prodding and, and injecting into the different areas of the nest there. What the idea is, is I want that product, that chemical to reach as many nooks and crannies of that nest as possible. And I want to kill off as many yellow jackets as possible before we actually remove the nest. And of course I'm wearing my whole bee suit and I also have, um, a respirator because when you're using aerosols in a confined space like this um, you'll be hacking up a lung and breathing that stuff in which you don't want so where this nest was was kind of in the back corner so I had to crawl all the way down so I'm actually laying down um, almost face to face with the nest which again is why that PTPI is so important to use because it works so quickly that um, you know even though I'm all geared up you definitely don't want to just have a product that's not going to work quickly. So you can see I have flashlights, I have my tarp out, and we're going to start removing this nest. Now this treatment took place in November, which is a, really at the tail end up here in the Northeast uh, United States of yellow jacket season because they all die off in the winter time. And had this nest been outside, not bother anybody, I would have just said, eh, let it go. It's going to be dead here in a couple weeks. But because they were in the house and this nest was in the house, it had to, it had to go. And even though it was November, there was still a lot of activity in there. So yeah, the queen's not laying eggs and there's not going to be a whole lot of new ones, but there's still a healthy full amount of adult yellow jackets in that nest. So what I'm doing, I'm using my paint scraping tool and I'm just kind of cutting along the edges of the nest, hoping that I can get it all out in kind of big chunks because it's really paper. You know, it's a paper backing on the nest and it can be kind of brittle. And yeah, I want to take the nest out in one big piece so I can take a picture, but also just for cleanup purposes, it just makes it a lot easier when it comes out as, as a big chunk. So I've abandoned my paint scraper and now I'm just raking it with my fingers. And the more areas that I expose, I'm going to, I'm going to apply that chemical again, just because, um, you know, we want to make sure we treat as many nooks and crannies of that nest as possible. Now the yellow jackets that do come out of the nest are going to be attracted to two things. One of the lights that I have on my flashlights right there. And the other thing is that light in the attic behind me, because when yellow jackets enter a space, they go immediately go towards a light source because they think that's a way out. So You'll see at the end here, I'm always going to check the light switch or the light source just to make sure we have all the yellow jackets out of there. And we're still just removing big chunks of it. Now, the reason we don't see a bunch of yellow jackets flying around right now is because number one, it's a little cooler out. So most of them were in the nest and they, they were already killed by that PTPI. So there's the big bulk of the nest there, the big bulk of the comb that just came out. Here's a close section of the area where their nest was in that bay there. And here's the nest itself that we just took out. And you can see I'm all geared up. So once the nest is actually removed, 
We're gonna just make sure we have all the nesting material out of there, make sure it's all cleaned up. And then I'm gonna put a long lasting dust, insecticidal dust or powder in there. And that's gonna provide us with a residual protection so that any yellow jackets that are out of the nest right now, when they come back into the, into the void here, it's gonna kill them off. And we're also gonna do a spray on the outside at their entrance too, just to, to kind of give us dual protection. So now we have the bulk of the nest removed from that, um, that bay down there. Now get it all, all it's on the tarp and uh, we'll get that taken with us. And you can see that I'm actually laying down. Um, I don't wear any, I don't wear a full bee suit. I just basically have a jacket on with a bee veil and a helmet and a respirator obviously and gloves. But um, even if they land on my pants, I, I, I wear these, um, these tactical pants that are a little thicker and they, they don't really sting through that. The only time I have an issue is when they actually go up my pant leg. Um, and you'll know that in the videos because you'll see me uh, uh, squirming quite hard uh, trying to get them out of there. But for the most part, my only vulnerability with the suit that I wear is if they go down in my wrist by my gloves and if they go on my pant leg. And I'm just making sure that uh, I'm just moving some insulation around, making sure we have everything out of there before we put that insecticidal powder in. Now the insecticidal powder or the dust that I'm going to use here um, is a product called Alpine, which is Dinoteferon is the active ingredient. And this is really good for ants um, and other social insects because what happens is they pass it along to each other, which is common in a social insect colony like yellow jackets, ants, that sort of thing. And, um, and, it, and they give it to each other. So now the interior is treated, the nest is removed. You can see I'm just checking the lights there. There's a couple flying around up there. We'll just hit those with the aerosol. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my vacuum and we're gonna vacuum everything up because we always leave the area um, as cleaned up as possible because that's not if they're the homeowner. That's not the homeowner's job to clean up uh, yellow jackets. That's, that's what they hired us for. So these particular clients noticed this issue on a Saturday afternoon. They called us Saturday night and we were out on Sunday morning because, you know, this isn't something that, that we really want anybody to wait on. Um, great family, uh, veterans. So of course we gave them a veteran discount because we're also veteran owned. Um, and they also had some ferrets, which they let me uh, pet. And I have a picture at the very end that shows me with, uh, with one of their furry little friends. I always think it's kind of fun to try to take selfies with uh, some of the interesting people that our awesome clients have. So just make sure everything's cleaned up. And then a couple seconds here, I'll show you what the inside of that nest, everything on the outside, I'll, I'll open it up when we get on the outside of the house. I'll show you what the inside of that nest look like. So here we are outside. Now you can notice if you've seen some of our other videos that take place during the height, the peak of yellow jacket hornet season, um, you know, basically like July through September, October, but you see a lot of these chambers of the comb, they're empty, right? Because the, it's the end of their season. There's no more eggs being laid. There's no more brood being developed. Um, so the adults that were there were, were there and that was going to be it. So again, we were happily able to solve this yellow jacket issue. We're the experts at treating and removing yellow jacket, hornet, bee, and wasp nests from homes. And there's our furry little ferret friend. So if you live in Berks County, Chester County, or Southeastern Pennsylvania, we want to be your yellow jacket experts. So give us a call or text us at 484-401-4361.